By the end of his first day of eight-year-old Little League practice, John Forcade's coach recognized a quarterback talent. Recognizing that talent five years later, Archbishop Shaw High School coach Joe Zimmerman named Forcade the Eagles' starting quarterback as a freshman, asking John to grow up quickly. At 13 years old, it was a bit overwhelming as Forcade had never seen players with beards. Neither did many of the other talented Shaw freshmen who found themselves competing against men. That Shaw team went winless in year one to a nine-win, one-loss season their junior year in a trip to the quarterfinals. The Eagles were trailing 7-6 to six when Fourcade went down with an injury. Shaw lost. One year later as a senior, Fourcade engineered an 8-2 and two season and a subsequent berth in the state semifinals at South Lafouche, led by quarterback Bobby Bear. Late in the game, Fourcade completed a game-winning touchdown pass that was nullified by a controversial penalty call by the referee for crossing the line of scrimmage. The Tarpons prevailed 27-23 in one state the following week. Fourcade closed his prep career as the All-Metro and Class 4A MVP, and he put Shaw football on the map. He became the subject of a national recruiting manhunt. Alabama and LSU told Fourcade he wouldn't start until his junior year. But Ole Miss coach Steve Sloan, as John describes it, was a fresh face in coaching with an offense identical to Shaw. And John's brother Keith was there. Though Ole Miss wasn't winning, John could play immediately. Despite the Rebels' lack of overall team success, Fourcade made a long-standing mark on the Ole Miss record books. In four years in Oxford, he accounted for 6,713 career yards, surpassing Archie Manning in that category, a record that stood until Eli Manning's days with the Rebels. On the final play of his college career, John took it into the end zone himself for the game-winning touchdown and a sweet victory over arch-rival Mississippi State. Though Ole Miss finished 4-7, 3-9, and 4-6 while he was a Rebel, Fourcade was a two-time All-SEC selection and the MVP of the Senior Bowl. Coach Steve Sloan said, John had a linebacker mentality. We were always good offensively. We just weren't quite as good defensively to match up. It was an honor to have coached him. After his standout collegiate career, Fourcade would play in Canada and the USFL before getting an NFL opportunity with his hometown New Orleans Saints in 1987. He would enjoy some great moments in four seasons with the Saints, including the NFL strike season. He played in 24 games and threw 14 touchdowns. One of those scores is ranked as a top 100 NFL TD, and at the same time, one of the top NFL follies too. Wait for it and watch the end result. The Saints, the ball comes loose. Another Ram has picked it up. This is a lineman. This one's going to be seen on the highlights for a long, long time. 28 looking to lateral. The ball goes loose and the Saints have it. It's 4K. He's got it at the 40, 45, 50, 40, 30, 25, 20, 10. Into the end zone for the touchdown. Let's welcome to the All-State Sugar Bowls Greater New Orleans Sports Hall of Fame Class of 2018, quarterback and great, John Fourcade. 